<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Black Realm Gaming. I am your host Creepy Soul, and I'm finally back with some JRPG news for you guys. Sorry there hasn't been much videos lately. I've been really extremely busy at the moment. So first chance I got, I wanted to put up a video for you guys so you can catch up on a lot of news. Okay, the first bit of news from Square Enix is to do with a new home console RPG, which is obviously surprising considering all the remakes they've been doing recently, and this apparently is not a remake, which is good news. Um, now, it's either going to be revealed at the Game Awards, which is the new um, awards that were originally, I think, um, VGX, They've changed the name again to the Game Awards, but there's a chance it also could be revealed at Sony PlayStation Experience. Now, I would put my money on Sony PlayStation Experience just because I think that this may be a PS4 game and I think it will be revealed then. So I think Sony uh, PlayStation Experience is on early December, so look for a reveal then. All right, next up on JRPG News, is some news from Indian Odyssey 5 which was originally announced as we actually now have the real name and it's going to be Indian Odyssey and the Mystery Dungeon now there's a few clips um, bouncing around the internet actually they're not very good quality at the moment so I won't put any um, links or pictures in um, for now but if you are interested in that series go and check it out on Google check some sites and uh, look at some footage and I believe that will be launched in Japan on February 5. Okay, next up on JRPG News is uh, Sword Art Online and uh, regarding some upcoming characters that are going to be in the new Sword Art Online Lost Song. And that's going to be for consoles. So uh, I think her name's Phila. Sorry if I butchered that. She was originally in the um, Hollow Fragment game that came out earlier this year. She's also going to appear in Lost Song. And this was confirmed by Dikai PlayStation Magazine out in Japan. Don't forget that is released in Japan March 26, and I think the European, US, and Asian versions of that game are going to be released not long after that. Alright, next up on JRPG News is a RPG called Criminal Girls Invite Only, which is a re-release on PS Vita. Now, that's been given a US and European release date, February 3rd for US, February, uh, February 6th for Europe, and this obviously is an updated version of the original title, but key note it is, it's never been released outside Japan, so if you are into RPGs, and this is a bit of a quirky one, yeah, if you never played it in US Europe, pick it up. I believe that NIS America is selling a limited edition on their store, so for I think $52, so if you're interested in the game, go have a look on their store, I'll put the link in my description, and the limited edition comes with a copy of the game, art book, soundtrack, and a special box. I'll also have a picture in this video. Okay, next up is some news from Tales of Zesteria from obviously Ben Guy and Nemco. Um, they released some new footage on the Nico Nico broadcast um, this week, and it's just showing off stuff like the battle dialogue and uh, field discovery. So, if you're interested in Tales or the new Tales title, which I think will be the last on PlayStation 3. Um, I'll put the links in the description below for videos from that footage if you want to have a look check them out Okay, next one is a little bit of news, but more of a reminder Don't forget Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 remix is out in December So it should be out in this coming week for I think most of the whole world So if you are a big Kingdom Hearts fan and I actually am I play HD Remix 1.5, so I'll definitely be picking this up. Also, if you haven't played 1.5 and you want to get both games, check out Square Enix's store because uh, you can get a uh, limited edition through them that comes with both titles. Next up is some Bravely Second news. So Jump has revealed that two new villains. So first up, we've got Emperor Oblivion. Um, he's the unmasked man who spread savage of war throughout the world with his powerful military force. And attacks the Odyssey and uh, Prince Village of Peace signing ceremony and kidnaps Angus. And then we've got Anne, a mysterious fairy wearing jet black clothing who accompanies Oblivion. And also key to note is that they're going to release a demo shortly, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, next we have some news from Level 5. They're actually going to announce a new PS4 game at E3 2015. This is coming from the company's boss. 
um, that confirmed it during a uh, White Knight Chronicles 2 live stream this, this week sometime. Um, he's basically come out saying that he'd love to make a game more epic that you know exceeds the scale of um, White Knight Chronicles. So if you've never played that, it is a PlayStation 3 RPG or JRPG actually with more MMO type um, gameplay. So yeah, if you've never played that, maybe have a look at it. Alright, the last bit of news is from Devil Survivor 2 Break Record. They've released some new footage this week showing off the title and various things in it. I'll put them links in the description below along with all the other video links in the description as well. Um, remember to like, comment and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. I am your host Creepy Soul and I'll catch you guys next time.